music that you just heard, incredible, right? That's Nico Cueso. And he often performs at the San Diego International Airport to sue travelers maybe before your next trip. Well, imagine what it's like now. The airport's virtually empty, but so many of these musicians still want to perform. And that's why the Jetstream Music Festival is taking place this evening. I want to introduce to you a couple of gentlemen this morning. We have Nico Hueso, a musician right here in San Diego. We also have Chris Chalupski, Senior Manager of the Arts Program for the San Diego County Regional Airport Authority. Chris, let's start with you. Tell me a little bit about the Jetstream Music Festival. Yeah, so the, the Jetstream Music Festival was a program that was actually initiated by Austin Bergstrom Airport in Texas. Um, but through a quick collaboration with about 20 other airports in the country, us, um, San Diego International Airport being one of them, um, it's really providing an opportunity for customers and those local communities to support the arts in their regions as our airport always has you now about a 20 year history of um, arts at San Diego International Airport. And so this festival is going to allow Nico to perform along with colleagues across the country. Um, anyone can tune in via the airport's Facebook page um, starts at 6 p.m. and it's going to be a, a great event. So this allows musicians from all over the country to collaborate on this and again for people that want to check it out it's going to be on Facebook. That's correct yeah just go to San Diego International Airport's Facebook page uh, 6 p.m. and uh, you'll see the live link and um, um, Nico will go on at about 6 p.m. I'm sorry I misspoke it actually starts at 3 p.m. western time Nico will go on at about the 6 p.m. hour. Okay, again, it's happening tonight on Facebook. Let's get over to Nico now. Nico, first of all, good morning. I've known that you've performed at the airport many times. Does it just seem strange not to be doing that right now? Uh, yes, however, there are still ways in which we can still perform for others, live streaming. It, it is a little unusual, yes, because we don't have an active or live audience, and musicians, I feel, use the audience as an instrument itself to uh, have feedback, feedback or convey a certain mood. But in this case, it's a very nice challenge to adjust accordingly. Right, and so tell me about tonight and what you're going to be performing. Yes, tonight is a compilation of, well, the first piece will be uh, a cello suite by Bach. I call this my chin cello, a viola. That'll be a dedication to my violin teacher, uh, Susanna Hahn. The second piece will be an improvisational piece uh, called Duende, which is based off of the characteristics of flamenco music. And the third piece will be a patriotic tune. I love it. Okay, we want to hear you perform for us this morning. So Nico Cueso, give us a little sample of what people can hear tonight on Facebook. Sure thing. This. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was just a little concoction for this morning. I call it Wednesday morning commute. <laughs> I like it. And now uh, you've given us just enough to want to come back and check it out tonight. By the way, Nico, how can we support our musicians right here in San Diego who are obviously going through a tough time? Well, um, looking um, through their social media streams, uh, they, they also have many other forms of being able to get compensation, PayPal, Venmo. But yes, try to look onto your Facebook or Instagrams or Twitter feeds to see what, li what musicians are doing live. That's the way they are supporting themselves now. And uh, soon to come, there are many collaborative efforts that will occur with other musicians. So uh, that, that I can tell you for now. That's what we'll look out for. Nico, we'll see you tonight on Facebook. Chris, let's bring you back in on the conversation. The goal is to really make sure that we are connecting with our local artists. And if you can, and if it's something that people can reach into their pockets and do, obviously, maybe provide a tip. 
Yeah, that's correct. And there will be that opportunity during the festival to support Nico. And as he mentioned, um, there are so many artists out there doing some very creative, innovative um, things right now, as artists always do in these times. And so um, as a program at the airport, um, we're very encouraged to see that. And we definitely want to do our part to support the local arts community. Um, there will be opportunities to support other charities. So during the festival, you'll see that come up on screen too. So um, we, will, we look forward to everybody um, um, tuning in and, and supporting this great arts and culture scene of San Diego. Sounds great. Chris, Nico, thank you so much for your time. And again, it's called the Jetstream Music Festival. And we'll see you tonight on Facebook.